It seems easy enough to separate the sounds we hear from the sights we see. But there is one illusion that reveals this isn't always the case. Ba, ba, ba. Have a look at this. What do you hear? Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. But look what happens when we change the picture. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ba. And yet, the sound hasn't changed. In every clip, you are only ever hearing ba with a B. It's an illusion known as the McGurk effect. Take another look. Concentrate first on the right of the screen. Now to the left of the screen. The illusion occurs because what you are seeing clashes with what you are hearing. In the illusion, um, what we see overrides what we hear. So um, the mouth movements we see as we look at a face can actually influence what we believe we're hearing. If we close our eyes, we actually hear the sound as it is. If we open our eyes, we actually see how the mouth movements can influence what we're hearing. Ba, ba, ba. It's a bizarre ba, effect. Ba, Remember, the ba, only sound you're hearing is ba, ba with a B. Ba, 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 ba. What's remarkable about this illusion is even knowing how it's done doesn't seem to make a difference. The effect works no matter how much you know about the effect. I've been studying the McGurk effect for 25 years now, and I've been the face in the stimuli. I've seen stimuli thousands and thousands of times, but the effect still works on me. I can't help it. The speech brain just takes in that information and doesn't care about what outside knowledge you bring to bear. Ba, ba. Ba, ba, the McGurk ba, effect shows us ba, that what we hear may not ba, always be the truth. Ba, ba, but it also helps us ba, to understand what ba, happens ba, when our senses conflict. Ba, ba, ba. When the brain has the conflicting information, it tries to make sense of that conflict. And depending on what type of modality is providing more, I guess, salient information, that information might override or at least combine with the other information. So we can't always trust what we hear, because sometimes our sense of vision takes over, enabling us to maintain a coherent view of the world.